Bish. Thank you. Did you see me doing anything strange? No, sir, I did not see me playing spit out cancer. Good. <laughs> I didn't expect so. <laughs> I'll leave them selling for six to six days. Yes, with the help of the Virginia Company. I can lure them away from that dreaded English religion. <laughs> Thomas, remember, I am not a part of your religion. I am merely your military captain. You should still join again. It's obviously the right thing. And you should stop asking, for you know the answer to be nay. Well, we'll still need your help finding an ideal sentiment on which you reach the government. We made it, guys! Well, more likely we made it while you sat in your lazy hindquarters and watched us. <laughs> you know what? what? I think you stuck up little sailors. I think you need to go back to your cabin so you don't get too tired to watch us work. I will not tolerate any violence on this ship! As you can see, not all the passengers and crew got along. In 1620, Plymouth was established, and they had a rough beginning. Only half the passengers of Puritan survived the first winter. But after that, Plymouth eventually struck. Let's go see some other colonial people. Hello, can you please take me a portrait? Certainly. Thank you. Hello, my name is Henrietta Johnson. My birthday was in 1823. I always have wonderful birthdays, waking up to a surprise every time. Did you know I was the first artist in the Atlantic to work with pastels and oils? I had a kid and a husband. My husband's name was Robert Molesworth. I'm the only known female colonial artist. Well, I need to get back to work. Why don't you visit our gun, gu gunsmith shop? Good morrow. Welcome to our gunsmith shop. Here we make the best guns in town and have the best prices. We have also we also have skills of blacksmiths, woodsmiths, and whitesmiths. Brian and I had to be in a press for six years before we could own this shop. Our friend Jack has currently been here for working here for two years. I'm an apprentice here at the shop, but I've been an apprentice for two years and hoping to be a great gunsmith. Here at this gunsmith shop, there are many important tools. Here's what we call an anvil, and we use this for shaping pieces of metal iron. Blacksmith works with black metals like steel and iron for the barrel of the gun. Woodsmith skills were used to make the stock. Whitesmiths molded white metals like brass, silver, and tin for the smaller parts of the gun. They have been helping me through the process of making a gun to perfection. For my two years I've been here, I've learned a lot, but there's still much to learn. Hey, Jack, can you take this chisel over to the blacksmith shop? Sure. Blacksmiths play a very important role during colonial life. They made hammerheads, axe heads, knives, nails, and other metal objects. We also helped with transportation. We made wagon wheels, horseshoes, and axles for the wagon. I think some of these are the pillars. Let's go check them out. Take a 
wanted her down to this friend. May I go play first? No, we have to get this work done. There's no time for play. Thank you for the bread, Natalie. You're welcome. My husband should be back soon with some animal hides food and train. Perfect. I hope Lauren's back soon. There's really no time to waste. I'll tell you all this for Jordan. She'll be fine. She's such a troublemaker. She better be back soon. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Okay. <coughs> As you can see, being a colonial mother wasn't easy. You had to do chores all day and take care of the children. And a children's job wasn't any easier. They often got beat if they did something wrong. Hello, this is our exhibit of a lump annoying girl. Sophia on the left plays the role of a, a chief. Georgia plays the role of a child. And I play the role of a mother by the wife of the child. This is our village in the fall during harvest time. Great day in hunting. Hello, I'm the Lumpen No Chief, also known as the Passion of the Tribe. As a chief, I enforce the laws, I help my tribe hunt, and I have a peaceful relationship with the English tribe. And lastly, I provide for my family. I'm so glad it's hunting time. Now, all the hard work that we turn will finally be free. I'd better start cooking so my husband can go and be ready. But let's start getting low on earth. I better go collect some more soon. Winter's coming, which means we'll have to rebuild our home and move. I don't like rebuilding the home, but I shouldn't complain because the animal hides that are covering this lot a big while won't keep us warm during the winter. I wonder what my little girl is doing. I assume she's playing with that English girl again. Hey, Laura. I want to show you these dolls. My mom made them. They're made out of cornhusks. How beautiful. Do you want to play a game? Sure. It's called Toss and Catch. The point of the game is to get the brain through the stick. Want to try? Sure. Lots of knowing children love to play games. Not only were the games fun, but they helped them for the future. Like for example, Toss and Catch was a game that helped hand concentration and hunting and sewing. Well, I must be going to help my mother for dinner. Me too. My father should be home soon. Okay, dinner's ready. Everyone follow us to Jamestown so we can go to trade. 